Okay, so today I'm going to be going over how to make a serial connector for uh, Dean's power connectors for RC or other items that use battery packs. Now I did select Dean's connectors because I like how easy they are to use. They're small, low resistance, um, they're just a good connector to have, and they are relatively universal. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, connectors out there, but there's really maybe two to four top uh, common ones that you see out in the field, and Dean's connectors are definitely going to be uh, one of those connectors. So to start off with for this project, you're going to need three Dean's power connectors. You're going to need two male connectors, one female connector, and then these connectors happen to have little plastic covers. So if you have plastic covers for them, great. If not, shrink wrap works as well. Um, you're also gonna need a soldering gun. And if you have a third hands extra helper uh, or vice grips or pliers, you can make do with that. And then lastly, you're gonna need uh, wires to connect to all of these. It won't matter the color on them. Um, however, I would suggest using at least red and black for one of the connectors or the connections and then the middle wire is not really going to matter. So either way, um, make sure you choose your wire size properly. If you're going to be charging batteries or using this in a car, make sure you use a uh, wire that's got some thickness on it and don't use tiny little wires as that's going to be too much current for them to pass through. So those are going to be the requirements, so let's dive into it. So to start off with, let's talk about what a serial, serial connection is. Basically with a serial connection, it's going to be adding the battery voltages together. So it will not be uh, adding any more runtime, but it will be adding voltage. So the way that works is you've got the connector here. So this one will be the one plugged into your car or the charger perhaps. And this is the negative lead on that. So the negative lead from the basically output is going to connect to the negative connection on one of your male Dean's connectors. And then you're also gonna have a wire that goes from the positive connection on this Dean's connector to the negative connection on the other. And then lastly, you're gonna have the positive lead from the male Dean's here go to the positive lead here. So what that's going to be doing is adding voltage together. So if you have two five volt batteries, it's going to make that look as if it's a 10 volt battery when you uh, check the voltage either up here or you have it hooked up to a charger. In this case, I'm going to be using it so that way I can charge two 3S battery packs, uh, LiPos, as one 6S, which I'll be getting to here in a moment. So when I plug those two batteries together, when I check the voltage on this connector, it's going to seem or be outputting the voltage uh, that a 6S battery pack would normally be. So let's take a look at how we do that. So to start with, I'm going to uh, use the soldering gun here and I'm going to attach a black wire or the crown negative wire on this side lead and a positive or red wire on the other side. And when you are soldering on here, make sure you don't get the Dean's connector too hot. It is possible to um, get the metal connector in there so hot that it ends up actually moving a little bit inside the plastic. Um, so once you get that done, make sure you slip either your cover over or you use your shrink wrap. Um, there's been tons of times where others, uh, including myself, ended up soldering everything together and then I realized that I forget the shrink wrap and then you have to undo it in order to get the shrink wrap on there. So make sure after you solder the wires, you get the connector uh, cover on there. And just like so. So this again will be the connector that plugs into either your charger or will plug into your car. Okay, so I had talked before about how you need to have the wiring and everything set up, but now that we've got the wires on here, let's go over that one more time. So we've got the negative lead here, and that's going to hook to the negative lead on one of the male Dean's connectors. And then you're going to have the red lead on this side, and that's going to connect to the positive lead on the other Dean's connector. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is set up that bridge connector that I was talking about in between the two connectors. So I basically got a piece of wire bent it into a U, and then I'm going to strip a little bit off of each end and get those connected. And same thing, I'm going to go ahead and get some solder on the wires to make it easier to connect. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, middle connector piece soldered on. Okay, you with me so far? So we've got the female connector with the wire leads, and then I've got the other two Dean's connectors. So the negative from the female connector is going to go to the negative on one of the males, and the positive lead on the male, or excuse me, on the female connector is then going to go to the positive lead on the other one. So let's keep going. And remember what I was telling you about the connectors, make sure you're adding those on before you solder it on here because if you don't put your shrink wrap or your plastic cover on here prior, you're either gonna have to do without it or you're gonna have to undo it uh, just to put that uh, cover back on there. So make sure you get everything kind of lined up and then that way you can get that all connected properly. So at this point now, you should have something that looks very similar to this and you've got your two leads on here ready for your last connector. And again, don't forget your plastic cover or your shrink wrap. And again, one really, really, really important thing that you wanna make sure of is that you're double checking that your connectors are wired up properly so then that way when you connect your battery packs together, um, the voltage and everything is making sense. So let's go ahead and make that final solder connection and we're almost complete. Okay, so now you should have something very similar to this, and this is now a completed serial connector plug, and this is going to add voltage together. So not the milliamps, but this is adding voltage together. So let's go ahead and double check our wiring now. So on here, we're gonna have the negative side of this female, or excuse me, on the male connector right here. We're gonna have a positive. The positive loops over and it connects to the female, or excuse me, the negative, on the male connector over here, and then we've got the positive output. And then both of those head out to your front uh, female connector. And if you flip that over, you'll see that the positive goes to the red wire and the negative goes to the black wire. So this should be exactly how you want it set up. Um, further testing that you can do here is um, using a multimeter. So let me show you how to do that. So now that we've got it installed, we've got two batteries. These are 3S batteries and they are hooked in to the connector and plugged in right here. Now, normally if you just check the voltage of one of the batteries, um, it'll be 11.1 .1 volts. Now, obviously it should be a little bit higher than that, um, but we'll just go off of basically, you know, what numbers we see on the pack. So now that these are connected together, the voltage here should be double. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if that uh, ends up being true. And then before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and test the voltage just one of these batteries. Um, so I'll get that hooked up and see what voltage we get reading here. Okay, so we've got our one battery connector here that we're going to be uh, checking the voltage of. So let's take a look and see what voltage we get. So out of this one battery, it's like we're getting about 12.3 volts. So that's the, the voltage that uh, should be doubled here. Um, because the other battery should be pretty close to that voltage. So let's take a look and see. Okay, so now I've got the two 3S battery packs hooked together on our serial connector, and let's take a look and see what voltage we get out of here. Okay, so 3S battery packs, serial connector on there, and let's check the voltage and see what this comes up at. All right. So here we go, positive, positive, and the negative to the negative. And we are getting 24.5, 24.6 volts, which is exactly the voltage that we should be getting. So you see that, and we've got the two batteries wired up together. 